Are you on TRT and worried about your hematocrit, hemoglobin, and other things surrounding your red blood cells? Maybe you haven't really checked before and your hematocrit levels are really, really high. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at this question, does TRT cause high hematocrit and what some of the reasons are behind TRT causing increased hematocrit levels. So again, my name is Dr. Taranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis, I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, et cetera, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, well, let's look at does TRT cause high hematocrit? So does TRT cause high hematocrit? Yes, it does, but it doesn't seem to happen to everyone. So testosterone replacement therapy, also known as TRT, can increase hematocrit levels. And if you don't know, hematocrit is basically the percentage of red blood cells in any given sample of blood. It's basically the amount of red blood cells compared to the amount of fluid or liquid part of your blood. So normal or optimal is going to be around 50%, 50% red blood cells, 50% fluid part, or a little bit less. Elevated levels of hematocrit can increase the risk for blood clots and potentially other health issues. So regular monitoring of your hematocrit is important when you're on TRT to make sure it doesn't go much above that 50% threshold. Why do some people seem to get this and others don't? It's not really 100% clear, but the answer may lie in the mechanism of how testosterone causes an increase in hematocrit levels. Testosterone causes an increased production of something called EPO, also known as erythropoietin. This molecule stimulates the bone marrow to increase red blood cell production. It's always being produced to some capacity, but in some individuals, that amount is actually higher. Now, there are other things that influence erythropoietin production. So if you live at elevation, you're going to have a higher EPO level naturally. And there may be other things that affect this. So I think that the amount of EPO that you're producing as a result of being on testosterone replacement therapy may be playing a big role in your hematocrit levels. It's also important to note that most people don't actually feel anything when they have high hematocrit. So that's why it's important to be tested on a regular basis. And even if you think you feel when you have high hematocrit, it's still better to verify than to assume. Also wanted to point out that sometimes when people have high hematocrit levels, while on this topic of kind of understanding what really is going on with your hematocrit, it's also important to point out that hematocrit is not the same as hemoglobin and hemoglobin is not the same as iron. All these things are related, but they're not really interchangeable. So if you have a high hematocrit, oftentimes you will have high hemoglobin, but you could have low iron levels at the same time. So what do you do if your hematocrit levels get too high? Well, I'll leave that full discussion for another video, but typically it's going to mean a dose reduction in your testosterone or a blood donation to bring those levels down into a safe range. There's a few other tips and strategies that I'll discuss on increased hematocrit and TRT, but this is an important topic when you're on testosterone replacement therapy. It's one of the things that's important to manage and make sure your levels aren't getting too high. So you want to make sure you're getting regular checkups and that you're not overdoing it or underdoing it in terms of keeping your hematocrit levels in check. So how'd I do? Did that help you better understand this question? Does TRT cause high hematocrit? Hopefully it did, but if you do have other questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section and I may do a separate video on that topic. I'll definitely try and answer your question. Thanks again for watching.